What's up guys? Welcome back to the Blind Box Hunt. Today I have for you a bunch more comic books, but this time I actually went to a half price books. And the good thing about this, they're half price. The bad thing about this, how much I actually spent. So I spent over $215 on these. I mainly got some newer stuff, but still now I know it's there. This would probably be like a once a year thing for me, like I mentioned, but it was pretty cool to see what was there. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't get either, but yeah. Um, upside, good prices. Downside, the stickers on the comics. They are much harder to get off than the ones that Al uses. Besides maybe like maybe on the actual books, those stickers came off pretty much easier and like uh, on the art books it came off easier. Um, on the comics, it was a pain in the ass. And a lot of them do still have residue and stuff on it. I've tried doing the heating thing um, with the hair dryer, but I don't know. I don't think it works as good as people say it does. I may have to get a different hair dryer, who knows, but yeah. So let's start, start this giant haul off because I think I got more than a hundred or so comics because of this. And yeah, let's just see what I bought this time. So first up, here's a Captain America 604, uh, Captain America 617, a Black Panther number 20, and Black Panther number 21. So in number 20 it looks like he's fighting up against some Medusa from the Inhumans, and in 21 and it looks like he's going up against Namor. And then I also found a World of Wakanda number 4. Then we go into the Teen Titans. So Teen Titans 26, Teen Titans 28, Teen Titans 20, uh, 16, uh, not 26, Teen Titans 62, Teen Titans 68, and Teen Titans 69. Look at that. Then I have this Teen Titans Annual number one. Then this is a new one. So Champions number four from Marvel. So I haven't read any of the first ones, but I wanted to try this one out, see what it's like. I do like most of the characters that are on there, which is um the Mal Mor Morales Spider Man, uh, Miss Marvel, and the new Hulk, which I forgot who the person that is Hulk now, but. Yeah, he seemed pretty cool in um, The Ghost Rider, so I'm trying this one out. The Initiative number 5, The Mighty Avengers. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 5. Secret Wars, Secret Love number 1. So I found this one interesting since it does have Robbie and um, Kamala on it. So, I want to see what the heck this is all about. And if there is more of this, and I actually like this, I'm probably going to get more. It was, um, yeah. The Amazing Spider-Man Back in Black, number 543. So, I don't know if you guys can see it. But you may be able to see the sticker residue from right here. And on here. And then Ultimate Spider-Man 118. And Ultimate Spider-Man 127. There was a whole bunch more of these, but I just got like the ones that were priced down. Superior Spider-Man Team Up number five. So this one you can really see where the sticker was. This was my first box step of temp. I'm trying to take them off, but I think. <coughs> Sorry, I know better how to do it. So yeah. Alright, now we have the Superior Spider-Man number 26 with Hobgoblin and Green Goblin on there. Avenging Spider-Man number 7. I'm really liking the Avenging Spider-Man, so that's why I got this one. Then the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number 2. I'm missing number 1, and I think number 4 now. And here is number 5 of Renew Your Vows. I'm really liking this series. I can't wait to catch up on reading it. Spider Girl number five, number three. Spider Girl number three. 
And then lucky me, I found a bunch of um, the Milo Morales Spider-Mans. But I uh, did a botched up job on trying to take off the stickers as well. So Ultimate Comics only Spider-Man issue 11. Issue 12. The Venom War 21 Ultimate Comics. And then Civil War Spider-Man. So here's number 6. Number 7. Number 8. And number 10. These are all Mile Morales ones. So that's why I got this one. One that was missing, Trinity number 26. Then a newer Trinity number 8. I don't have to buy that one at a store. Then I have Oro, or or o. I still can't pronounce that right. Before the Storm, volume um, number two out of four, and then Storm one out of six, Storm one out of two. I mean two out of six, Storm three out of six, and Storm five out of six. Meaning I need four and six now. Then. I'm really liking the art style in the Green Arrow one, so I started getting a whole bunch of these ones for both the re Rebirth and the 52. I think this is a 52 one. Oh no, there's another sticker on here. I'm going to have to try and take that off. But Green Arrow 52. Uh, rebirth Green Arrow 2. 3. 4. 5. 7. 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, and move these up a little, 18, 19, so yeah that's a lot of green arrow, two ninety nine dollars a piece, half, cut that in half, it's like one something a piece, so that's pretty okay to get. Then Aquaman, I believe this is the 52's one. 48. And this one I found interesting. Countdown. First issue. The search for Ray Palmer. Superwoman and Batwoman. And then this was the only thing I found Wonder Woman, which made me kind of sad, but... Wonder Woman and Power Girl, Brave and the Bold, number seven. Let's take these down. Set this back up again. Make it all nice. All right, so now, Supergirl, New 52's number two. Batgirl number six of six. And then I have Batgirl twenty two, Batgirl thirty seven, Batgirl forty one, and fifty four. And just to make a, bat a dent into my Batman and Superman, or Superman and Batman, here's number eighteen, seventy two, seventy three. 74 and 75 and then the new 52 future end Batman Superman one shot which like always guys has the cool little lithograph where it's two different scenes now let's see here's a Batman wonder the boy wonder number six and number nine, Batman and Robin one shot. And Batman and Robin New 52 is number seven. And now, a whole bunch of Injustice comics, which is from Injustice year one, year two, and year three. So, Injustice number two, number four. Five, six. Now all these were like a 99 cents a piece, so that's why I got them. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is from year two, so number two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one's from year three, number six. And then I've Justice, Injustice, Ground Zero, number five. This one looks like it's the newer um, rebirth style, but, you know. So that's a big old Injustice haul. Now I have a Star-Lord uh, 4 out of 4, Annihilation Conquest. And I think this is of the newer Star-Lord series, so here's number 2, number 3, This one's number four, five, seven, and this is the one with Kitty Pride doing all the whole Star Lord thing now. So yeah, There's that comic books everywhere. Then I have a Superman seven twelve. I liked it because Crypto was on it. So uh, Superman in Action Comics seven eighty one. Uh, Superman Action Comics 814, Action Comics 8, Comics 845, 870, uh, this is the new 52's one, so 9 and 30. Then I also found from Boom Stu Entertainment, Fairy Quest 2 of 2. And over the garden wall, two of four. And if I'm right, yeah, the rest of these are gem and the holograms. So I started um, getting things a while back, but then I stopped because it, it hasn't like it's not a top priority. But these were half the cover price. Cover price is three ninety nine, so I got them. So here's number six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And then here's Jim and the Holograms Holiday Special and the Valentine's Betch Special. So that's everything I got. It cost me, what was it, two sixteen for all of this. But it's like, it's a lot of comics, right? So it's a pretty good deal. I am thinking maybe I go back there once a year and if I can convince my mom to look at what's new and what's not. And maybe get the ones that I missed. If it's still there in a the year. If not, oh well. There's probably some new good stuff for half price. So yeah. Like always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I do new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And also, what do you guys think of half price books? Is it, like, a dangerous thing? Is it a good thing? I found it both. It was dangerous for me and good because it was my first time going there. But now I know to re uh, bring it back a little or to at least make it, like, how I go to conventions. And actually put a limit on how much I need to spend and stuff, you know? So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!